Unit 21. Blood Types. Thanks for meeting me today, Professor. I don't understand last week's lecture on blood types. Could you please explain it to me? No problem, Angela. First, let's see what you do understand. Can you tell me about blood types? There are four types of blood A, B, A, B, and O. Good. How is your blood type determined? You get your blood type from both your parents. Your blood type is a combination of genes from your father and your mother. That's right. Before the lecture, I always thought that all blood was the same. Why can't two different blood types mix? In some ways, every person's blood is the same, but it is very dangerous to mix two different blood types. Your blood cells may begin to stick together. If you are given the wrong type of blood in a hospital, you could die. I see. So that's why blood types must be matched in the hospital, and this must be done before blood is given to anyone. Exactly. Unit 22 The Car Ride. Mom, Danielle's on my side of the car again. Tell her to move over. Listen, both of you. I've had enough of your nonsense. Sit still, be quiet, and enjoy the scenery. Mom, is Toronto still far away? It's going to take a long time to get there, so read your book. I don't like to read in the car because it gives me a headache. Can we put a CD in? I suppose so, but it had better not be rap music. That music is awful, and I can't believe you children actually listen to it. Oh, please, can we play some rap music? You might like it, Mom. Well, only if you promise that there is no bad language in it. There isn't any bad language. I promise. All right, I'll play the CD, but it will be at the volume I choose. Thanks, Mom. Have I ever told you about the songs I liked at your age? People listened to real music in those days. Oh, Mom, rap is real music too. Unit 23 The Report I finished my report on the French Revolution last night. How did you finish it so fast? I'm still trying to find books about it. There was something about the French Revolution on TV last week. I wrote down the names of all the people who were on the show. What did you do next? I went to the library and looked for their books. It was very easy, especially because I already understood what they wanted to say. I guess I could have done that, but I missed the TV show. Why did Miss Desart make us write about French history anyway? She's a French language teacher, not a history teacher. Miss Desart said that if we want to understand the language, we should understand the culture. I don't know if I speak better French, but I know more about French history now. If the French Revolution had never happened, French would be a very different language. You're right. I'm going to talk to Miss Desard now. I'll see you later. Unit 24. Home Schools There are many kinds of schools for many kinds of students. One kind of school is the home school. Home schools are exactly that, schools at home. Parents choose to homeschool their children for many reasons. Some people feel that public schools are too dangerous. Some people think that the level of education is too low. Some parents do not approve of the subjects their children learn in public schools. If parents choose to homeschool their children, they must be ready to teach them well. There are many benefits to homeschooling. Homeschools are very small. There are just one or two students. The student's mother or father is the teacher. Another benefit is that students can study interesting things. Some people think that homeschooling is not good for students. They believe public schools teach children discipline. They feel that public schools give a sense of community. In the end, parents must decide if homeschooling is the right choice for their children. Unit 25. Big Brother so, how does it feel to have a new baby brother in the house? It's really exciting, but not as easy as I thought it would be because the baby cries constantly. I love my baby brother, but...
but I don't like all that noise. I know. When my baby sister was born, she cried and slept all the time. I had to help change diapers and feed her. I hope I never have to change a diaper. My mom and dad do a good job of that. I learned how to heat the bottle to the right temperature, though. Having a new baby around is hard work. What do you like most about your new brother? He's really cute, and everyone says he looks like me, but with darker hair. Smaller, too, of course. He laughs when I tickle his little feet. When he grows up a bit, I'll teach him how to ride a bicycle. And we can also play games together. I'm going to be the best big brother in the world. Unit 26 The New Boss. You know, Kim, I think our new boss doesn't like me. I don't understand why. That's not true, Trevor. Why, just this morning I heard her say you're a very good employee. She said you work very hard every day. That's news to me. I wish she would say it to me, but she just criticizes everything I do. I think that you're being too sensitive. Do you really think so? Maybe I just need a vacation. I haven't had one for years. It's not good to work so hard, Trevor. I think a vacation is a great idea. How about you? Are you happy at work these days? Yes, I'm really enjoying working for this new boss. That's why I'm surprised that you think she criticizes your work. Actually, I think she is helping you to improve your work. She's just trying to help. I didn't realize that. Now that I think about it, you're right. I feel much better. Good. Let's go for lunch. Unit 27. The Principal How long have you been a school principal, Mr. Shin? I have been a school principal for 18 years. What made you get involved in education? When I was 12 years old, I read an article about how the human brain works. I studied very hard. I tried to use my brain well. Soon, I began to get interested in education. I see. After college, I became a teacher. I was given the position of principal 12 years later. Do you ever wish that you had done something else? When I first started as a principal, I missed being a teacher. I like spending time with children and helping them learn and grow. However, I knew that I could do a lot of good as a principal. You have certainly done a lot of good, Mr. Shin. You started a special program to send all the students in your school to college. I had been planning to do that for some time. I'm glad the program is so successful. Unit 28. Bill Gates Look at this article I am reading. It says here that Microsoft made over $36 billion in 2004. Wow! I wish I was Bill Gates, the owner of Microsoft. Is it just because of the money? Of course. You can donate a lot of money to help other people. Bill Gates donates millions to charity every year. He also employs about 55,000 people in 85 different countries. I heard that he got interested in computers when he was really young. That's right. He started programming computers when he was 13 years old. Really? Yes. Then he studied computers at Harvard University. He was a Harvard graduate? This shows how important education is to success. Actually, Bill Gates decided to drop out of Harvard. He was an excellent student, but he did not want to graduate. Why not? He had a dream. He dreamed that computers would be in every home and office in the world. I see. He decided to follow his dream. Yes, he made the right decision. Unit 29. Mark Twain. Here is a story that Mark Twain, the famous author of Tom Sawyer and The Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, told one afternoon. Years ago, I was on a train leaving New York. There were too many people, and the sleeper train was full. I asked a young man at the ticket office if I could have a room in the sleeper section of the train. He answered rudely, no. I left feeling quite angry. As I was getting on the train, I saw a man watching me. He watched me for a few minutes. Then he spoke to the conductor in a whisper. Immediately, the conductor came over to me. Can I help you? He asked. Do you want a place in the sleeper section? Yes, give me anything. 
We have two beds and chairs in a private section. The conductor made sure I was comfortable. Then he said, I'm so proud to have you on this train, sir. Oh, who am I? I asked. General McClellan. Unit 30. A Soccer Star Soccer is a very popular team sport worldwide. Many people love to watch it. Hong Myung-bo is a famous soccer player. He started playing soccer in 1990. He played for the Pohang Steelers for six years. Then he played for the Los Angeles Galaxy. He was the first Korean to play for a major league soccer team in the United States. Now, he is a coach for the South Korean soccer team. Hong is famous because he played soccer well. He played in more than 125 international games. He also played in four World Cups. He played in the World Cup in 1990, 1994, 1998, and 2002. Hong won two soccer awards in 2002. His team won the award for the most entertaining team in the World Cup. People thought it was fun to watch Hong's team play soccer. Hong also won the Adidas Bronze Ball Award. This award was for his outstanding performance in the game. Even though Hong did not play in the final game, he played well. Unit 31. Keeping Fit We all need regular exercise to keep fit. But if we study all day, we don't have time to run, swim, lift weights, or play basketball. What can we do to stay in shape? One thing we could do is walk more often. Walking is good exercise. Instead of going to school by car or bus, we could walk. During recess, we could go outside and stroll around before we go back to class. Instead of taking the elevator in buildings all the time, we could use the stairs. Another important thing is to take breaks from studying. If we sit at our desks or in front of a computer for a long time, we should stand up and stretch our arms and legs once each hour. If we stand for a long time, we should sit down and stretch our backs. These are just a few ways we can stay fit when we don't have a lot of time to exercise. Do you know some other ways? Unit 32. Stop yawning. Stop yawning, Jason. I'm sorry, Miss Terry. I can't help it. You can. You yawn because your lungs need more oxygen. When you need more oxygen, you open your mouth wide and take in a lot of air. What can I do to stop yawning? You should go outside into the fresh air and breathe deeply. Then you won't need to yawn anymore. Your lungs will have lots of oxygen. We just came in from recess. So why am I yawning? Are you tired? Being tired also makes you yawn. This is because your body needs rest. Oxygen helps your body rest. Sleeping rests your body and makes you take long, deep breaths. Then why do I yawn when I am bored, Ms. Terry? Well, Jason, when you are bored, you are probably not breathing deeply enough. The best way to stop yawning from boredom is to do something interesting. If you can't do that, try taking deep breaths. This will not stop the boredom, but it will help you stop yawning. Unit 33. The Gym Did you hear that a new gym opened on one of the streets nearby? That's great news. I've gained some weight and I'd like to lose it through exercise. I need to lose weight too, and I've always wanted to take yoga classes. Do you know if the new gym offers yoga classes? I'm not sure. I'm planning to go there on Friday evening to look around. Do you want to join me? Let me check my schedule for this week. I'm too busy on Friday, so can we go on Saturday afternoon instead? Sure. We can see what the new gym has to offer and get some exercise too. It's fun to work out in a gym with other people. We might even meet new people with similar hobbies. Hold on. Let's see what the gym looks like first before we start planning anything else. Let's meet for lunch at the West End Cafe before we go. It might be the last good meal we eat. Good plan.
Unit 34. A Healthy Lifestyle. This burger is delicious. Do you want some? No, thank you. I'm working out at a gym these days. I want to be healthy, so I've also started eating good, fresh food. You're exercising? That's fantastic. When did you start thinking about your weight and staying in shape? Last month I had a checkup. My doctor told me that I should be leading a much healthier lifestyle now that I'm getting older. Now I try to eat small, regular meals instead of one or two big meals a day. I see. What types of food do you usually eat now? I eat lots of fruit and vegetables. I try to limit carbohydrates like bread, rice, and pasta. I also try not to eat sugary foods. Oh dear, I love sugary foods, especially cakes. Well, try to eat food that is good for you. You need to take care of yourself. You're right. I should start thinking about a healthier lifestyle. But first, I'm going to finish my burger. Unit 35 A Balanced Meal I have lost seven pounds in one week. Skipping breakfast really works. I don't think that's a good idea. Why not? People who skip breakfast eat more at the next meal. Eating breakfast is very important. Breakfast gives you energy for the day. Well, I eat one big meal a day at dinner time. Having one meal a day is not good. You should have several small meals a day. You'll have more energy that way. Maybe you're right. I have been feeling really tired lately. What do you usually eat? I only eat salads now. Salads alone may not be nutritious enough. So what should I eat? You need some protein and carbohydrates. It is important to eat a good variety of food at each meal. You should have balanced meals. Make sure you eat cereals, fruits, and vegetables, and some bread or rice. You also need milk and dairy products, and some meat. You'll be healthier. You'll have more energy. You'll even look better. Unit 36 Across Canada I'm so excited. I just got back from the travel agency. Travel agency? Where are you going? I'm planning to go to Canada on vacation. Canada? How exciting! How long are you going for? I'm going for a month. I want to see as much as I can. You are so lucky. What places are you going to visit? First, I'll spend a few days in Vancouver. Then, I'll take a train through the Rocky Mountains. Oh, you're riding through the Rockies. That's really exciting. Then, I'll fly to Toronto and take a bus to Niagara Falls. Did you know that you can actually take a boat under that huge waterfall? It's called Made of the Mist. Wow, that's an amazing thing to do. You're so lucky. Well, I hope I don't get seasick. I'll finish my trip in Nova Scotia. I want to eat lobster for dinner every night, and I'd like to bike around some small fishing villages too. Have a great time and take lots of pictures. Unit 37. A Trip to Europe where are you going on vacation this year, Andre? I'm going to Europe with my parents. We're going to take a tour of France, Italy, and Germany. Oh, that will be such fun. How long will you be gone? Three weeks. We're going in the summer, so I won't miss any school. What will you do there? We're going to visit historical sites, like the Colosseum in Rome. We'll also see famous museums, like the Louvre in Paris. And of course, we're going to the top of the Eiffel Tower. How will you travel from one country to another? There's a famous train that goes all over Europe. It's called the Eurorail. I wish I could go with you. My family is going to the seashore again, just like last year. I'd like to go somewhere I've never been. Don't worry, Julie. I will take lots of pictures and I'll buy you a souvenir. Thank you. I'll collect some seashells from the beach for you. Thanks. Unit 38, New Mexico. Hi, I haven't seen you for two whole weeks. Where did you go on your vacation? I visited my cousin in New Mexico. I had a great time. Mexico? I thought you went to the US. I did. New Mexico is a state in the southwestern U.S. It's between Texas and Arizona. Guess what? 
A lot of Americans don't know that New Mexico is a state. The license plates on cars in New Mexico also say USA. This is so that people don't get confused and think the driver is from Mexico. That's funny. So, tell me what you did in New Mexico. My favorite part was visiting Carlsbad Caverns. There are 30 miles of caves. In one cave, we had to wear hats with lights on them so we could see in the dark. Sometimes we had to crawl through very narrow tunnels on our hands and knees. Weren't you scared? No, it was a lot of fun. I'm going to visit my cousin again next year. You should come with me. Unit 39. A good way to travel. Traveling is a good hobby. If you have very little money, backpacking is a good way to travel. Many students like to backpack. They can travel cheaply. They can travel to many places. These travelers carry their belongings in large backpacks. They are called backpackers. Backpackers take buses or trains to save money. They camp outdoors to sleep. If they stay in a city, they may go to a hostel. A hostel is like a hotel. Hotels are not cheap. Hostels are very cheap. Travelers often share rooms at hostels. There are only a few toilets and baths. People share them, too. Hostels are a good place to meet other travelers. You can make friends. They can tell you about fun things to do in the area. Many hostels have kitchens. These kitchens have stoves. Some have toasters. You can buy your food from a store, then you can cook at the hostel. This is cheaper than eating out. Just remember to clean up when you are done. Unit 40, a train announcement. Welcome on board the TGV 740. We are now leaving Paris. We will arrive in Marseille at 3 p.m. We offer free beverages in each car. Please have as much coffee, tea, or soft drinks as you wish. There is a restaurant on the train. You may purchase a meal there during the trip. The restaurant is in car 11. We will make two stops on this trip. We will pick up passengers in Provence and Dijon. Passengers changing trains can ask the attendant for a free timetable. This will help you with your onward trip. Please note that smoking is only permitted in cars 15 and 23. Newspapers are given to all passengers. Mobile phones and the Internet may be used in cars 18 and 25. If you need assistance, please press the button near your seat to contact a cabin attendant. Please sit back, relax, and enjoy the trip. We are pleased to have you on board. We look forward to serving you again in the future.